you remember way back when, when I said might try and get another properly used second hand one and maybe I can film it coming apart, being washed and going back together should you wish to, if not tell me and I won't bother. Well, at the car boot, quite a while ago now, I've sat on this for a bit, I saw this and that is what we're going to look at today. 15 pounds Car boot fresh used Vax 121. Let's see how different this one is from the very clean other one that I have. Yes, hello my fucking cleaner chums, how are you today? I am in a bad mood because my broadband got cancelled because Sky didn't phone me back when they said they would to apply a retention offer. So let's see if I can cheer myself up today by going through this. Now, a bit of a disclosure, I have had to use this. Eva wasn't very well not long after we got this and threw up everywhere, all over the floor. So... It runs and it shampoos badly. So there's a little bit of a, I can't lie to you and say I've never turned it on because I have very quickly and then sucked up a load of water to clean everything out. So it's, 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 it's a little bit less dusty inside than it was. So what is it? Well, it is a Vax 121 from the car boot sale in quite filthy condition. But it's actually not that bad damage-wise. It is just filthy. Just general storage marks and grime. That sticker's still in good condition. It's also an earlier one because it's got the single caster wheels rather than my one, which has the dirt. You can see how dirty it is underneath. My one's a later one because it's got the dual casters. This is an earlier one, so probably late 80s. And at the minute it is, this is again how I got it set up in shampoo mode. I had to turn the top around when I bought it because they had it fitted backwards, which was quite annoying. Annoyed me anyway, they had it fitted like that, which, grrr, like whenever you see a Henry with its head on back to front, <sighs> which you can't do nowadays, luckily. There's even a cobweb look. So yeah. Properly old, used, nice Marbo plug, as all good Vax 121s should have. There's no date on the Marbo plug. Inside we have the solution tank, which has seen use, possibly dry use as well. The seal underneath it is utterly ruined, completely flat, lifeless. And then in the recovery bucket, it, yeah, it's it's not quite as I found it because it was a lot filthier. I've obviously cleaned it up a lot just by using it. There's some paint marks all over it. Look, the bucket is quite trashed. I'm not quite sure how scratched that is underneath all the dirt. My fingers are feeling disgusting, but the wheels aren't broken. It's not too bad, let's turn it on quickly. See if the suppressor explodes, because I haven't been moved the suppressor yet. It did seem okay. So, the light comes on. The suction isn't very good. And I know why again, because I've, I've had to put this back so I can show you in this video. I think it's been used bagless because that is the little sponge filter that should protect the motor, which it has done. The motor isn't rusty. That is well used. So we shall have to clean that up in a bit or maybe fit a new one. But for now, we'll leave it out. I just wanted to show you really, otherwise I'd have got many ages ago. I'm trying to keep this fresh, you see. Wait for it. 
Wait for it. Oh, there it is. That's now so powerful it's pulling the float valve up, which it will do because the, the airflow is too great for the little ping pong ball to stay down. So that is a tidy little bit, because obviously as you saw in the video, oh, we've got all these tools. Now this didn't come with it, this I got from Dennis. If you remember from my video where I had all those parts, this is that auto mob. I'm now going to stick it with this. But all of this did come with it. We have the only small tool that it came with, a dusting brush. The solution pipe, which is used, because I used it, but it's, it, it's kinked somewhere because it, it pulled down hardly any solution. So we need to work out, well, I, I need to work out where it's kinked, but there's a solution tube. We've got the hose. Nothing really much to see there. The solution valve is nice and tight. I've seen those fall off. This is the other reason you can tell it is an older model. Because this cuff cover here, this covers that bit there. And on my older one, this is the same doppled effect as that. But on this, it is, you can't really tell, but it is shiny and smooth. Which is the key to the age I have found. We have a power plus. That was very nice to see. The bumpers coming off as they can do. It's been heavily used. Very heavily used. Um, ah. Underneath the, it's you know, it's in good condition. The fan isn't broken, so that means it should work quite well. We have the little shampoo nozzle. Very used that is. A cloth bag, which is actually spotless, so whether this is, it smells dusty, so it's either never been used, which I find that a little bit hard to believe, this didn't come with any paper bags, or it's just been very, very well cleaned. It has to be very well cleaned, because this is, there's no dust coming off of it. Actually, uh, there is a little bit of dust, so maybe they have paper bags and use those. But no, it has been used, so I'm, I'm being stupid. It's just been cleaned very well, so that's all right. Ooh, we'll put that back together, because we'll need that in a minute for when we do a de demonstration. Because I don't have any paper bags on me. I've lent, I, I've lent my 6130SX out to a family member to do DIY with, and gave them... The, well, they're only rubbish pattern paper bags, but I gave them to them. You can't buy genuine one two one bags. There's no old stock ones anywhere. I was hoping to pick up a nice packet of like you know vintage unused ones that like you can get them for like fifty hoovers, brand new new old stock. But you can't for that because you can just buy the newer style ones. I also can't HEPA flow it because I'm missing the bit. There's two styles of cloth bag. There's this style, which may or may not be genuine. There's no markings on it. It's actually broken, look. That's chipped. There. And that's chipped there. The other style is just a bag, and you have a holder with a belt, and you put the bag over, roll the belt over. Like my, my other one has that style. We have the filter, excuse the little bits of grass. I've been standing the lawnmower on this box, so it's dirty, but the grass is a different thing. In fact, we can take it out there. Show you just how filthy it is, grass aside. So that's very much used, but it's in good condition. I think it's cheesecloth, they call this. It's a cheesecloth filter. Let's put it back together because we'll need it. That's why I always, if ever I've washed and serviced one of these, I iron this filter. Because it just makes it so flipping easier to put back on. Because you've got to, it's better when it lies flat, really. But this should do it for now. And I've seen them with a little screw to screw these two parts together, which I've always thought was genuine, but it may not be. 
Well, it's a bit of a shame that that seal's been dinked. I don't know if I've done that or if it was already done. Hey ho! Oh, that's not part of it, that's fallen in the box. Whoops, as has that. <laughs> we have a bottle of Clean Easy Spread and Shine Liquid Floor Polish for vinyl and tiled floors. Hmm. So, I don't know if we'll ever be using that. I don't think one wants slippery liner. We have an empty Tesco carrier bag. Ah, the large wash tool, which is again used but in okay condition. The hard, the, the hard force, or the combination nozzle. Which isn't actually as battered as I've seen these. I don't think this particular tool has seen much use. There's a little bit of surface fuss, but if it's just been sat in a garage, and look, the strips for the brush aren't full of crud, which they generally always go. So I think this tool it's, it's been used because there's scratch marks all down the side, but I don't think it's been abused, which is quite nice. I think, actually, that is all of the Vax tools that I got with it. So it doesn't have the ones, which isn't the end of the world. It doesn't have the upholstery tool or crevice tool. But apart from that, it is actually very complete. So what the heck's left in the box? Well, there is. A torn up t-shirt, a bag from ablelabels.co.uk and this which is a bulk pickup kit from a Goblin Aquavac. I don't know why it's come with a bulk pickup kit. It's a shame the Goblin Aquavac wasn't there. I'd like a nice one for that. Yeah, this is the, you know, for vacuum you've got rubble and leaves and whatnot. So, oh, I can sell that. Staying with the Aquavac theme, we have a crevice tool. Gold purse slash upholstery brush and a wand which really doesn't seem that used. This on an aquavac, the hose goes onto this end, and then the two wands go down here. And obviously, being goblin, the tools fit inside, as opposed to everything else where the tool where the tools fit on the outside. So you can use it. In fact, no, you can't because no, it's all loose. Obviously, you can't put it on that way. So they've obviously had, at some point, a goblin. It's just a big shame that I didn't see it when I was at their stall because I, I quite like a nice goblin. So there's that. We have these two here. If I can get the crud off of them. General, generic plastic ones from, I think, a Hitachi because of the writing. There. I reckon they would have used these with this machine. God knows where the bulk pickup tools came from. They might be missing those now. But I paid me 15 quid. They're mine now. So we have two. They look fairly modern, being silver. Hitachi tools. We have a washing machine waste pipe holder. A plain piece of cardboard. A pointing trowel. Yeah, look, nice little pointing trail there. A file, no handle, but that is a metal file. And another piece of t-shirt, because there's the there's the arm handle used as a rag. And a massive plastic box. So it's a mixed bag really. Lots of good stuff. I'm going to bid the stuff I don't want, put the tools that will sell or that are part of the vax in this box, and then we'll have a better look at the actual vax. So it's all rather jolly. Got rid of all the other rubbish, and here we are.
I've included that because it now belongs to this. And we best get it some use, really. We'll start off dry, so we'll put that, 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 and that away. Off there because I, I, I put that there just to have it in the picture. Ooh. Ooh. We'll take the recovery tank out and we'll fit the bag. Why not? Which just about fits in the hose. Yep, that goes in nice and tight. We'll put the spotless filter on it. Its rubber seal is also completely shot. You always used to be able to buy those rubber seals. I might have a chat to Mr. Stewart at Manchester Vax and see if he fancies because that stops it from rattling too much. And now we're set up for dry use. <laughs> That's a bit better, although it's actually that white side should be a bit thicker. That should be a proper double layer, but it's cleaner. So we'll lob that back on. That's one of the reasons I wanted to do that, really, so that I could clean it. I could make it clean its own filter. There we go. Beautiful. I have acquired the wands for Mummy's Henry. So I can actually, these are the ones that should have gone with it anyway. They're, they're just generic black. Aluminium wand, really. We'll try the Power Plus out, shall we? Turn it onto low pile. We know these aren't great, so we're not expecting miracles here. <laughs> That is beyond terrible. Let's go back to the straight suction head, which we know works better from when I did that dirt test on mine, which made me have to refurbish it. Yeah, works much, much better. Then of course we can set it up for wet juice. Should we do that for laugh? Check it's all there. So we'll take the take the filter and the bag off. Drop the recovery tank in again. Then we need to get the solution pipe, which is all tangled up. Thanks for that. Really? Come on. Pull that back a little bit and just drop this into the bottom of there. I won't fill it full of water yet. Then we can put the hose on and start to clip the pipe onto the hose. I want to have a check actually whilst I do this to see where it's kinked. If anyway, it's been fitted on these clips for a long time because the tubing has bent 
where it goes. Now you can get new tubing, and I'm very tempted to do because this is basically a fish tank pump tubing. I've seen lots of people buy it online. I've even recommended it before because I need some for the 6130 because it's not quite long enough because it's from a different machine. My 6130 has the hose from a later machine right now, which is a lot longer. And now the solution tube doesn't fit, so I might have to bulk buy some, you know, and depending on how well this comes up, because I want to sell it, so I bought it as a little project to do up and sell. We'll see how it goes. Then we'll put slide that over there, like that. And you can use this in two ways. You can either move it fully, to the on position which just lets it all flow or you can keep it back and you can squeeze the trigger which turns on and off the flow of solution which I've never really done actually oh. and then I'll just, I'll, just, I'll just move all these clips around so that they're on fresh rubber yeah there we go we can fit the shampoo head Twist that around and into there, and voila! We are set up for some terrible shampooing because these aren't that great. They make excellent wet vacs, but not fantastic shampoo vacs. They won't even stand up. <coughs> so, why am I showing you all this now? Well, A, before refurb, B, if you remember, on the five part series that I did on mine, we washed mum's floor. Now I filmed that before the summer, that was March, April time, and she's been complaining recently that it's getting a bit dirty again. She mops it every day, she doesn't own a mechanical cleaner, can't afford to buy her a crossway, I think I made her money. So I said, I'll tell you what, Ma, this is filthy anyway, and I have an auto mop for it. So why don't I give it another shampoo? Yeah, I mean, it's got the instructions there. Here is the new inboxed, never used auto mop. With another tub of solution, which smells nice and fresh. I think we should go through the pain and suffering again. If you remember last time, it didn't go terribly well. It did the job, but it was easier just to flood the car, flood the floor, and then just squeegee it up. So I think we shall go through that pain again. Now, I won't film it completely, because you all know what, oh yeah, that's, that's got the, the weight in it. So as soon as you let go, look, it does that, really to flip around, to squeegee up the mess. So, Let's do some shampooing of a hard floor.
I admit defeat. I, that's, it does a good job. Eventually, eventually the take this off. Oh, maybe not that way. It's the front bristles that really do the work. Once you get those scrubbing, it does lift the dirt and then obviously squeeze it back. But it's just such a horrible thing to use otherwise. I had to have the machine up on the table again because the gravity feed just doesn't work well with that head. It needs this head or the other little one because obviously it sort of slightly pulls the solution through at the same time. that solution. Yes we are. And let me go to go and chuck a jug of water in here. There we go. does work better for carpets although even then it's not fantastic obviously but it's better than the alternative and obviously now we've got all of this solution sat in the tube which I'm going to blow back into the machine because it's just peeing out still because the gravity oh gosh ah, I've broken it oh god <laughs> it's all going wrong there's water everywhere and this is just separated right so yeah, I like them, I've still got my new boxed one, but they are flawed, I cannot lie, this will be a fun refurb project though, let's take the tubing off, we'll blow through, oh yeah there you go, it's weeing itself, it's having an accident, it is emptying itself. Oh gosh, it's <laughs> everywhere. Does however demonstrate that just like this, they do prove to be very good wet pickup machines. <laughs> is almost dry now so yeah they're fab for wet pickup it's just not so great anymore for shampooing the world has moved on somewhat for when these were coming but saying that there is a fair degree of filth in there from the kitchen floor so it obviously has done something and doing all that has cleaned off all the gunk that was on there so swings and roundabouts but for now this is how we shall leave this fine machine and when I get a few seconds I filmed this in 2017 although you won't see it in 2018 I'll film this in 2018 you won't see it until 2019 but because it's 2017 this year we shall do a full strip down and V for video of this machine 
because I quite like to do one, show you how to desuppressor it, because these are ticking time bombs, not going to lie, I've, I, I've had one go. And clean it all up, clean all the tools up, and see if I can sell it for anything, really. Might be able to get something for it. Creaky, creaky. So, yeah, my 15 quid car boot find Vax 121 works very well, as well as it should. And it's now ready to go through the system and be given some love, but I won't do that now because I've got far too many other machines to get going. So I'll get this video uploaded at some point in 2019 and then later on in the year we shall go through and it should polish up a treat. So thank you very much for watching and I shall see you soon. Bye bye.